picking the right soft starter for your application can sometimes be difficult and you may end up with the incorrect soft starter and it's often only discovered at the key and time sensitive commissioning stage. Sometimes going up a kilowatt rating just isn't enough to ensure you've made that right selection. So at Siemens, we've made the selection process much easier for you with our free to download tool, the simulation tool for soft starters or SDS. So this is the home screen and from here we can either start a new simulation or open an existing simulation and carry on from where we left off. To be able to get the most out of the STS tool, there is some prerequisite information that we need to have to ensure that we get the best possible selection results. The quality of the data entered to achieve this result is tracked as you work through the configuration with the Data Quality Advisor, but I'll show you more on that later. For the example uh, application that we're going to be going through today, uh, we're going to use a water pumping application requiring an IE3 90 kilowatt rated motor that's going to be on a 400, uh, 400 volt system. So let's start a new simulation and enter this basic data. So first of all, we need to enter our environment and supply information. Um, typically, this is pre-populated here. Um, so for our application, this fits us already. However, if you want to change this so that every time you come into it, you can go and change these default settings in the STS uh, settings uh, part of the application. So I'll now go on to enter our motor data. So we want a 90 kilowatt motor and you can see that that populates us here with a Siemens 90 kilowatt motor, but we can refine this to make sure we get the correct selection. As you can see, it's given us an IE4 motor, but we want an IE3, so we can select that. And we can also change the number of poles uh, arrangements that we, we want to have it want it to have. Um, but also, if you want to use a third-party manufacturer's motor, we can create a new one here, enter in the relevant information, create that, and it will save uh, a setting for, for you to use at a later date on other future projects. So we'll just select the IE3 motor for this application um, and then we can move on to our load type. So as I mentioned, we want this to be a pumping application so that gives us a generic torque curve to work with and also a generic uh, moment of inertia value based on that load type. So you'll notice at this stage we've got a data quality of good uh, on our advisor here. If we wanted to get that to be excellent, all we would need to do here is enter a manual value. Let's go with that, for example. And we can see we get a data quality of excellent now. So that means that we're gonna get the very best soft starter selection for this particular application. But for our example today, I'm just gonna stick with the load type generic value um, and then we'll move on in just a second uh, to the application parameters. But first, I just want to point out there's also a custom load option here. So if you have an option, or oh, sorry, an application that doesn't fit into these um, standard predefined applications that are on the drop down list, you can create a new one similar to how you'd add a third party manufacturer's motor just by entering various bits of information here to suit that particular load. But we'll continue on with the generic one, and then we can move to our application parameters. So in here, we effectively define how we want our starter to start the motor. And typically that's if we want to start the motor with current limiting or we don't. So as a default, uh, it always starts with current limiting. Again, you can change this in your settings if you wish. Um, and that default value is four times the rated current of the motor. So we've got 157 amps on our motor in this case, which automatically populates this absolute starting current limit value of 628 amps. This also 
uh, calculates for you what it's estimating the starting time to be for that application and what the starting torque will be as well. And it carries all this through into our results selection here. So it shows you a little number 10 there. So that says that we've got 10 different options to be able to pick from at this stage. But we can refine those results down a bit further. So things that we can change here are under the additional functions, how many starts per hour we want. So let's say we want to have this to start 15 times per hour. Um, and then we can select some other additional functions. Let's say, given that we're pumping here, we'll have a pump stopping function. You can also define how long you want that stopping time to be um, or aim to be. You can also select here motor overload protection. You can see that's taken some of our options away now. We'll also add on condition monitoring as well. Okay, so that's got us down to three different options. So that's really refined the results down. Let's just add on one more item. And from here, we can have a look at these three different options and a good way to sort of fine tune what you want it is to look at. We can compare each of these results. Um, and the best way to view this, I think, is to hide the similarities so that it only shows you the differences between each of those three options and you can have a look through um, what each of these are all capable of doing. Okay, so if we go back to our uh, selections here, I'm gonna go with this one, for example, confirm what uh, rated operational voltage we need. We need it in the 400 volt range, so that's fine. We want 24 volts PC and let's go for spring loaded control terminals and that will give us the final article number over here. So that is effectively our simulation complete. That was really quick as you can see. Um, what we can do from here is then go to generate a report. Um, as part of the report we can choose to add the feed domain components or the protective components that will uh, sit upstream of the soft starter um, and whether these are in accordance with IEC or UL standards. So we'll just leave this as IEC type, coordination type one, generate the report, and this will give you a summary of everything that you've entered, the motor data, the load data, what app application parameters you set in there, as well as the additional functions that you've asked for as part of the configuration. Then it will show you the basic data of the soft starter, uh, it will show you the torque speed and current speed curves, but most importantly here, it will give you recommended parameters for the initial commissioning. So it will give you those parameters to set in on your initial commissioning, making that process so much easier. It also, um, as we've selected it, give you the, the feeder main components. Um, so it's given us a couple of options here, whether that's an MCCB or fuses for line protection as well as the frame size of our optional line contactor up here. Then on the last page of the report, we can see what the data quality advisor has been keeping a track of whilst we've been going through doing that simulation. And it will point out to you the areas where you've not been able to achieve 100% accuracy with the data that you've entered. Obviously, this is quite important because if you uh, don't have all the data available at the time of putting this in and it goes through to being commissioned on site and you enter some problems at that stage you have this document then to be able to refer back onto because you have been able to add this into your project uh, folder so that you can see where perhaps something needs to be changed in order to be able to get this application working properly okay moving on so you may have noticed when I click report, there is an option down here to open with Sirius SIM. So ensuring that you've already got a Sirius SIM instance uh, of the application running in the background, you can click open with Sirius SIM, click yes. And if we just switch over to Sirius SIM, we can see there now, having selected the motor element in this simulation tool, that it's added the details of our Siemens motor. 
and it will also add any other man manufacturer's motor. It's entirely dependent on the information that you've entered in the STS tool. So if we go along here, because we get a, a view of exactly what this soft starter would perform like, we can go along to the parameters, select the soft starter, and see that it has entered the motor parameters that are specific to this particular motor. So it saves you some uh, parameterizing time, but the main benefit of the, this being able to export into the Sirius SIM tool is that you can have a virtualized uh, product before you've even had to uh, purchase a example product and test this before it gets installed on site. So Sirius SIM is a free tool just like STS that you can download and trial out simulations using either 3RW55 soft starters or using 3SK2 safety relays as well. So if you want some more information on Sirius SIM go and check out our other, other videos on that. Okay coming back to this so if you need any further information um, on how to, to, to work with STS there's a technical assistance window that pops up just here and you can go through and view in depth further information about different variables that you can set within the project. Uh, this is also possible within Sirius SIM and it will give you a window here uh, to go through a whole host of different uh, options when it comes to using Sirius SIM 2, uh, especially for um, making sure that you have the correct setup for Sirius SIM to uh, STS integration here. So, to be able to get hold of the STS tool or Sirius SIM, uh, we just go to Google and Google Siemens STS, go to the one with the ID link here, and this will take you directly to our online support website where you can scroll down and find the installation link for the latest version of STS here. I would definitely say bookmark this particular website so that you can reference back to it in future and keep up to date with any developments of STS. Um, I would also mention there is a mobile version of the uh, STS app so you can get this via your uh, store on either Android or iOS. Simply download it, install it and this is really useful for situations where you want to diagnose if an installed Siemens soft starter uh, on the site is suitable for the application. Um, or you want to perhaps show your customer the simulation when you're on the go uh, visiting their office or something like that perhaps. So give the simulation tool for, for soft starters a try today and with its simple easy to use interface get fast and accurate selections for all your soft starter applications in no time. Thanks for watching.